it's really basic life things that are challenging for patients. So it's hard to go through life with acute and usually chronic pain and do the things that we take for granted. To be a mom, to be a worker, to excel at school. When you're in pain, when you're having frequent hospitalizations, and when you have to separate from your life so frequently, many patients say that that's one of the biggest challenges for them. The impact on the rest of our family has been huge in that every time Sophia has a fever, we have to go to the hospital. Every time she has a pain crisis, typically we're not able to manage it at home. She has um, pretty intense and frequent pain crises, and so then we wind up inpatient, and so that pulls the family apart. Having a child and being a sickle cell patient really impacted my life. After having a child, I got much sicker than I did being a young adult. It made my son have to be mature at an early age. I used to make him lunch, make him a little sandwich, have his grapes on the side and his fruit, you know, his fruit cup and his little box juice. And as he got a little bit older, six years old, he began to make lunch for me when I was bedridden and I couldn't get up to even barely use the restroom. It's really irritating and it's hard to focus on my work when I'm um, in class and when I'm on the court playing basketball with my friends. I like, I try to play through the pain, but um, it's really hard. When I was younger, it was much harder to tell people what was going on because I would get crazy things like, are you contagious? Oh no, you have the cooties, or you know, people look at you weird, or sometimes even in an urban community, if people know that you're sick or you have a weakness, they prey upon you. So I got used to hiding my illness. But today, being an advocate for sickle cell and being the president of the association, I can't have the kids stand up for themselves and me not stand up for myself. I'm gonna go to college with or without sickle cell disease. I mean, it doesn't really affect my life, but it does. Because it's holding me back because I have limits.